Hi, how are you colleagues, teachers, coaches? Coaches, oh, I miss my coaches. How is everything going? How are you feeling? Have you been checking in on your feelings? So funny, I'm staying, you know, I'm staying here with my cousin and her husband is a teacher in Pinellas County, Florida. And um, it's, so it's so interesting to watch his feelings. And you know, the interesting thing about all of this is that mostly his feelings have been going up. Like I think as scary as all of this has been for, for all of you and imagining how this could go and, and you know, how could you possibly teach kids virtually? It feels so impossible. Um, it's, been, it's, it's been exciting to watch him because I think that he has learned so much um, to make it, his job, e that has made his job easier um, in those things that he was like, how is this gonna make, how is this gonna work, you know? And so all of these different technology uh, tricks, I think, have made all the difference in the world in, um, in kind of like, you know, um, sort of facing those fears and knowing that everything's gonna be okay, you know? And, um, and it, you know, it, it's not, it's not perfect. We know a lot of kids are not really doing the work that they should be doing. Um, and, and that's a hard thing. That's a hard thing. We know that they're losing a lot um, this year in, in, you know, not having traditional school for, you know, several months. Um, and, and that's, that is heartbreaking to us. Um, but I do know, I always think about this and, you know, I was talking to my girls group that I have yesterday about how in my bathroom, I have words that sort of help me to think about the things I need to work on in life. And one of my big words is surrendering. <laughs> I shared this with a, a group of teachers in, uh, in um, Riverdale in the Bronx and they hated it. They hated it. And it's hard. It's hard to surrender. And we've had to surrender to sort of just be like, this is it. We're going to do our best. We're going to bring our best selves. And then we got to just let it go because there's things just out of our control, you know? And, um, and that's a really hard thing when you know that there are kids that need to come to school to eat, right? And you know that you've had gained so much with them in, you know, the five months that you had them or whatever, however much time you had them. So that's heartbreaking for sure. Um, but I think showing up and smiling and, you know, letting your kids know that you're there for them um, is one of the best gifts that you can give them. And also paying attention to your feelings and, um, and really um, taking note of that. You know, today I, I um, it's an interesting thing, you know, I kind of, I think, have been feeling mostly content when I look at the chart, you know, for the day. Um, but actually, I feel like there's been some tension about some things I'm trying to figure out. So I also think there's been a little bit of uneasy feelings, right? And I physically don't feel so great. So I think, and that's sort of affecting my mood a little bit. So I, I don't know, I'm not really annoyed um, or troubled, but I think uneasy is a really good word for me a little, you know, today a little bit. Um, along with feeling, you know, the interesting thing, not, not easy going, I would say, um, but not chill, content, you know, I'm, I'm moving, I'm getting up, I'm doing my videos, um, but I'm not really like super excited to do that today. And, um, and I'm, you know, I think I definitely, when I look at it, I feel a little down, you know? And, uh, you know, I'm going, I, I'm gonna stop this video in just a minute, but I'm going back to New, New Jersey, not New York, which I have mixed feelings about that, especially since I'm so in love with Andrew Cuomo. If anybody knows him, I would love a date. Just saying. <laughs> um, but I, uh, I, 
I, I am feeling, I'm a little, I'm nervous about it. You know, I'm, I, I know I need to get back home. I know I have a lot of things to check on. I know I have to, you know, get some stuff in order. And, um, and I know I have, even though it looks like I have a ton of books here and I, I know I do, um, I have all of my work at home and, and that will help me to, to do better work and, and think about this research that I've been thinking about with feelings. Um, but I'm, I'm going to miss the sunshine and the warmth here. Um, even though I know that it's coming, um, which is great. Um, but I'm going to miss my family. You know, just on a little side note, and then I'll say goodbye. Last night, my daughter just, you know, on her way home from work, texted me. It's like, mom, I really could use a walk. Can we go for a walk with Walter? You know, and she's very, very conscious about being socially distant. So, you know, I wasn't worried about that at all. You know, we haven't hugged or kissed or anything, but just seeing her was really, it's really great. And I won't be able to do that. So somehow we got to figure out how to, to do more video chatting, but she hates that. So we'll see. Anyway, colleagues, um, check in on your feelings. Think about the precision around that and think about like how, when we are paying closer attention to our feelings, we can kind of think about how do we do that and how do we recognize and what is it that's happening? For us that's making us feel this way because that is also going to help kids when they're paying attention in books right really important especially for them in those older grades getting to those uh, deeper layers okay colleagues see you tomorrow i should be feeling better yeah of course it feelings go away that's the great thing about them they don't last <laughs> okay colleagues have a great rest of your day